kiss for you. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 4 of my video series on news app using retrofit in Android studio Alright guys so in my previous uh, part of the video we had created the project and we had integrated with sector view so in this video we will continue from where we had left so there first of all uh, let's create the init method and also in this project I will be teaching you on how you can uh, structure your uh, classes and then how you can uh, structure your uh, code into your uh, I mean into the uh, function so let's get started so here we will write all the code in the relevant method and then we will be calling all those methods inside our own create okay so it will be easier for us to debug our code and if we want to change the code so we will be able to simply change the code from there okay so first of all we need to uh, initialize our secular view so for that we can say secular view dot set has fix size and we need to make it true then we can say the secular view dot set layout manager and there we can we have to specify either the grid layout manager or the linear layout manager so in this case we will be using the linear layout manager and it requires this uh, current reference and after that we okay so now the main step here in this video is we need to now integrate the retrofit so for that we need to create the new package with the name of retrofit so let's create a new package and name the package as retrofit and inside this retrofit we need to create a new class and that will be the api client which we will be using and so here we first of all need to make and uh, implement the interface is the the interface is serializable and then we can we need to uh, first of all specify the base uh, url and then we will be writing the, the method to get the object of this uh, the profit so let's get started so here first of all we need to use public static final string base url and it will be in our case our base yeah. url will be http slash double slash uh, news api dot org okay since we are using the api of this news api so we can we have to specify the base url here so after this we need to have the retrofit object here so we can say public static retrofit since you can see that we are making this uh, static so it will be a static uh, singleton class okay so this api client will be a singleton class you may uh, find more about this in uh, with the help of google so there first of all we need to specify it to be null and after that we need to write a method that will return the instance of this retrofit so for this we can simply say public static retrofit and there we can say get api client and then inside this mm -hmm. method we can write if retrofit is equal to null then we can say json we need to use the google library for json so we can say equal to new json builder and then we can say set lenient and then we can finally say dot create after this we can now initialize our uh, retrofit so we can say equal to new retrofit dot builder and then we can specify the base url and we have the url here and then we can find this say dot add converter <laughs> factory so basically we convert the retrofit object into our uh, json object so there we can say add converter factory then we can say json converter factory dot create and inside this we need to pass our json 
and finally we can say dot build all right and here after this if so we can simply return the retrofit object all right and after this we need to specify a function that will uh, that will return the url of our api so for this we need to create a new method and it will be public sorry static string get api url and first of all we will have two things first of all we will have string source and then the string api key then after that we need to use our for this we can say string builder api url equal to new string builder and inside this we will pass our uh, top head i mean the url of our api so for this let me show you what will be the url so i directly write the url here so it will be news api dot org slash v2 slash top dash headlines sources equal to and after this we can return api url dot append and there we can write our source and then we can also write dot append and we will be writing and api key equal to and finally we can say dot append and we will be passing the api key and finally we will try to convert it to string and then we can simply okay so that was it all right so after this we have this uh, api client so we need to go back to our main activity and inside this activity first of all we need to initialize our uh, api client for it so for this we need to create another class inside our uh, retrofit and that will be the api interface so basically we will have the new java class and instead of this class we need to uh, specify the, the kind as interface and we need to rename it as api interface all right and we need to click ok and inside this api interface class we need to specify the methods that we want to execute so for that we can have uh, we need to use the get annotation for our re uh, retrofit so there you can see we have this v2 slash sources and the language will be en and api key equal to and it will be app constant dot api key okay so let me show you where what is the problem here app constant public sorry we need to make it static so yes now dot api key and after this we need to write the method call and we need to specify an object so we just uh, do it object for now because we need to have our own mm -hmm. model for the website so and we can say get sources all right so that is the way and 
and here we need to have the website i mean we need to use the website model here so i think we can do that in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye